Alright people, welcome back. We are here with another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. Uh, doing this post-com because I couldn't record in the meantime. The second battle versus Danger Dave will be live com though, so look forward to that. Be sure you guys are subscribing though if you guys have already been a fan of this channel. And let's put in some work with Metagross. Alright, so battle number one. We are going up against Angelito's Trick Room team once again. This man really thought he could come at me with the same... Well, hang on. He did change up Hatterene and the Melmetal. Um, of course, Victini is now banned. But I said OU, so, you know, we're bringing OU. So it doesn't really matter. Um, but I just feel bad because some of his Pokemon, you know... Um, well, hang on now. I mean, Stack Attack... I brought Stack Attack to OU. Max Attack or Stack Attack is pretty good. And Slow King, you know, is a big threat. Because it can step Shrek Room. The, I, I was a, a very a, much afraid of that Hatterene. I, I was thinking it could have like Giga Drain or something. Does it get Giga Drain? I'm fairly certain. I feel like I've seen this thing use Giga Drain or something like that before. Energy Ball? Let me look at Hatterene. So, but he's got true, two big Trick Rumors. And those are the Slow King and the uh, Hatterene. Those are very bulky Pokemon that are going to be able to set up Trick Room that I need to get rid of pronto. So, I'm going to lead off with Kyle Trask here. Kyle Trask carries the whole team on his back. And I'm going to go ahead and flip turn out because I don't want to get hit by, let me see, magically, yeah, it, it, it gets Giga Drain. So, I didn't want to get hit by that. So, I got some little bit of damage. And I'm gonna go out into, uh, I'm assuming Meta, Mega Gross here. Uh, because I don't wanna get uh, hurt by the Giga Drain. And they're actually just gonna go for the Trick Room. Yep. So, I, I know that Hatterene is very bulky, but I was thinking, like, man, do I have enough damage to knock it out with Bullet Punch? And I was like, I know I'm gonna get hit by a Mystical Fire and it's gonna suck. But I'm just going to go for the bullet punch. And if I kill, then I kill. And if I don't, then I would get hit by the mystical fire in the trick room anyways. So we go for that. We aren't able to knock it out with choice band. But I mean, still, look at how much that does considering how bulky Hatterene is. With just a 40 base power move. It's pretty crazy. So we're going to go for it again and we'll knock it out. Which is very nice. So Hatterene, one trick roomer is gone. And also... In doing so, we've managed to stall out the Trick Room terms a little bit, at least a little bit. So, I kind of thought they would go out into Victini. I mean, considering the Trick Room is up, and I've locked myself in the Choice Band. Uh, but they've actually just gone Diancy, and I'm like, bro, Diancy? Are you kidding me? I was like, in the back of my head, I was like, okay, this thing can probably live a Bullet Punch. But still, I'm just going to go for it because what do I have to lose? I was thinking, even if they get a plus two defense with Diamond Storm, Bullet Punch should kill this thing in two hits. So look at how much damage that does today. I know it's a four times weak hit, but still, I mean, Diancy's freaking bulky and also it uh, it's only four to base power. So they go for the Diamond Storm here. They do a... Per I eat that up because I'm a freaking Metagross, but they do get the defense boost. And with the Aya Papa plus the Bullet Punch, I'm like, oh no, this isn't going to kill, is it? This is not going to kill it. So I have to go for it again. And look, it just barely lives. I'm like, oh dang it, come on. And they go for the plus two body press, which is easily going to take me out. So Megagross is gone, but it has taken care of the two fairy types. So I don't really need it as much anymore. So now that the Twisted Dimensions have returned to normal, it, uh, it seems that I'll be able to go out into Kyle Trask and simply, uh, I, I, I was pretty sure they were going to switch out, so I was going to go for the rocks, so that way they can't bring Diancy back in, because I was thinking they might try to save Diancy, and they might try to get something else in, like what else were they going to get in? Uh, oh yeah, the Sloking, that's right, I figured they go Sloking, so... To try to get Trick Room up again. So I'm like, alright, let me get rid of the, up these rocks. That way Diancy is no longer a threat since I lost my Bullet Puncher. Um, and I'm going to get a Toxic up on this thing. Because I really, really need a Toxic for this thing. I mean, good grief. This thing is so bulky. So we get a Toxic off. 
so eventually perhaps we will be able to take it out. They go for a trick room, and I'm like, okay, that's fine, that's fine. This is just fine. I'm thinking, I need to get some damage off, and looking at their team, I'm not seeing an earthquake switch in. I'm like, yo, now the Hatterene and Diancer are gone? I mean, even with Diancer, I mean, Swampert walled it, but now it really just walls this entire team. I'm like, alright, please don't get a burn. Thank you. Thank you so much for not burning me. I'm going to get a nice and powerful earthquake off here. Because a burn on this thing would absolutely suck. So, thankfully we don't get burned. And I'm, I'm like, alright, I just got to keep going for it. I think with the earthquake plus the poison, if they try to stay in, they are going to die. So they need to teleport out here. So, we're able to survive and not get burnt, thankfully. The boy Kyle Trask, you know, he's he's got that nice ice cold water, you know. They they bring him in off the sidelines of the Florida football game, and they say, "Yo, get you some Gatorade, my dude. Ch cool off, all right? We don't want you getting burned, cause cause we can't do anything about it after the fact, you know what I'm saying? You know, you'll be out for the rest of the game. All right. So in comes the Mel Metal, and I'm like, Mel Metal? What's a Mel Metal gonna do to me? Um, I'm pretty sure I just stay in and try to go for the Earthquake. Melmetal looks so small here. Usually it's a lot bigger. Anyways, I'm just going to go for another Earthquake because whatever hit they go for, they're going to get hit. Or unless they go for the Horus Power, but then it's not Stab. That's the only way they won't be able to take the... Yep, they go for the Horus Power to avoid the Rocky Helmet. You know, it makes sense, makes sense. Actually, they still get hurt by the Rocky Helmet. Every... Move, but Earthquake, it seems like it's hit by Rocky Island. So, we'll go for a nice Earthquake, and that's a 2 at KO right there. Uh, especially with that Rocky Helmet chip damage, you know what I'm saying? So, they do go for the lefties, and I'm just going to hit him with another one. I'm like, yo, this Earthquake seems to be doing pretty good. Yo, Kyle Trask, we need you to go along and throw another one. They are able to, uh, it seems like they're going for the... Uh, they kick the ball back to us, so we're back on like the first uh, first yard line, and we've got to bring them back down. But we make about 40 yards here, you know, just trying to use football terms for the boy Kyle Trask. And for those of you who don't know, Kyle Trask is the uh, was the quarterback, and he he was a Heisman nominee for uh, my my school, the University of Florida. So, and he he's kind of like orange and blue a little bit. So, and he he carries the team. You know? So, he goes for the sleep talk, and I'm like, I, I, I see you. Goes for another rest, though, unfortunately. But if they did go for a sleep talk and hit anything else, they just would have gotten more damage off. So, I'm going to just keep hitting them with the earthquakes. I, I'm seeing that I'm running a little bit low here. I'm not used to having a spam earthquake this much. Um, usually, you don't have to. Um... That's the thing that sucks, and you know, for some of my Pokemon, I do ha I have increased their PP um, on their moves for crucial moves, but I need to like go through and make sure that all the fives are up, especially the ones that I use a lot. Um, in comes Diants. It's it's just not feasible to increase some moves that have like 10 BP and stuff. And like I said, the Diancy's gonna die to rock, so no more Diancy. All right, let's see now. Who are they going out into now? Because we already know that Victini is about to take some rocks. Uh, they actually go back out in Sloking. They do have some regen, and I'm like, ah, they're so close with the rocks plus Earthquake. I might be able to take them out, but all they're really going to be able to do is just teleport out. Or no, or did they get a? Tr no, 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 they can't survive poison. Yeah, look at that. So close. It's living on like one or something HP. And then it trick rooms out. I'm like, oh, come on. Oh, no, wait, except if the trick room to die, then. That's right. Because otherwise, they wouldn't be. I mean, it wouldn't be helping them too much. So the Slow King goes down. There's the final trick room. But now we've got another few turns of trick room to deal with, which is unfortunate. But thankfully, the boy Kyle Trask, you know. He's the quarterback, you know. He's not the running back. This man, he doesn't have to be the fastest person on the team. He's just got to be reliable enough to pass the ball, which he does. And as you will see in this moment, the boy Kyle Trask is able to fake out this Victini 
and is slower in Trick Room before the V Create. So we're gonna hit him with a nice and powerful Earthquake, if you know what I'm saying. Now, I get a crit. Uh, I don't know if that ultimately mattered. It, it, it probably could have lived Victini. He's got 100, 100, 100 fences, you know, because it's mythical. But, I mean, what would they have done to me? V Create? They would have knocked themselves out with a Rocky Helm, most likely. But we are able to take out the Victini. And in comes Stack Attacka, Max Attacka, Stack Attacka. And they're going to be slower in the Trick Room. But you know what? This is Kyle Trask. Why are y'all underestimating? He can eat up your Steel and your Rock type hits, so you're not going to be able to use Stab. So I'm going to eat this up. And I'm going to hit you with a Times 4 Trick Room. I mean, with a Times 4 Earthquake. Kyle Trask has the whole. Once again, the fake focus, Sash. I'm tired of this. So. I'm going to go for the flip turn, save my last Earthquake just in case. They go for an Earthquake themselves, and what do we do? We live on 6 HP. If you're going to live like that, I'm going to live like that. Because this is Kyle Trask. You know, why are you people underestimating him? If you know what I'm saying. So, we preserve the boy. We get him off. We get him off the field before uh, he uh, faints. And we got to medvac him off. Or... We're able to get in Hail Hydra here because who's their last again? I can't remember. Um, is it the Mel Metal? Yeah, the Mel Metal's asleep, so this is it. So they bring in Mel Metal here, and I think the Trick Room is gone, right? Or no, it might be still up. It might be still up. Yeah, I think I went to go look and see. But as you can see, they have one more turn of Trick Room left, so they're gonna try to wake up here. Um. But unfortunately for them, I think they get the three turn, or however many they have left, and we're able to finish it off with a flamethrower. So, that's going to be that game. Uh, did we get a 6-0? No. Mel Metal died. I think we got a 5-0. As you can see, though, Kyle Trask carried the whole team, so the rest of the team didn't really have to put in work. But this next battle with Danger Dave is going to be live calm, and we are going to put in some work with the rest of the team. And if you haven't already, guys, please subscribe for that battle i think it was pretty cool to see swamper put in so much work and uh we'll see you guys in the next battle all right folks we are here the rematch versus danger dave uh right now the score is one one between us so this battle has got a lot of stakes riding on it and oof they have a really i was kind of scared of a real boom because i mean look at these three pokemon but hopefully these three will be able to deal with it better uh, I'm, anyone else thinking the lead Excadrill here? That's the thing that I was thinking. You know what I have for a lead Excadrill? I got a nice Kyle Trask, but hold on a second. This guy likes to think ahead, alright? And I really need to think about this battle. So, I think they're gonna re lead Rillaboom, expecting me to lead Kyle Trask. Therefore, I shall lead, uh, Hail Hydra. Yup. Sounds good to me. Um... If their Mold Breaker Excadrill could be a bit of a problem, but I think we'll be okay. Yep, like I said, a lot riding on this battle. We gotta do well. Let's see. I'm thinking once the Rillaboom is gone, uh, oh, we gotta get rid of Barrascuta too. Then, then uh, the boy Blastoise can sweep. Hey, we've got that matching pose. <laughs> Sunny. All right. Let's see now. All right goes out to it wasn't me they do lead off with the rillaboom as i suspected but guess what my friend we got uh winter so cat falcon and winter soldier over here hell hydra all right no one stays in here right do they have anything can i just drop a draco oh snap they got the defense raise but guess what i'm a freaking physical or a special attacker so that doesn't matter to me um I don't really see a Draco switching. Do it! Drop a Draco! I'm a Specs Hydreigon, I right? You gotta respect me. I'm about to drop this Draco. You know what I'm saying? I got to do it to him. We gotta drop a Draco, my dudes. We just have to. You wanna raise your defense? That's fine. Guess what? I'm a special attacker. Bruh! Choice Specs Draco Meteor. You wanna go on Excadrill and get down to half your health? That's fine. That's fine. They might expect the flamethrower. They might stay. They might switch out into uh, something. You know what? I'm about to drop a Specs Draco. 
Alright, if you want to take a spec Draco, that's on you. That's on you. Alright. Withdraws. Let's see if they go drill. Get out of here. Bro, why don't you get out of here? You thought I was going to flamethrower? Drop a Draco! Get out! You get out of here! What are you talking about? Ah, uh, get out of here, Barrascooter. That fr freaking Barrascooter has been going against me for several battles. It feels so good to just drop a Draco and get out of here. Now, unfortunately, um, let's see now. I am at minus two special attack. Though getting rid of that Barrascooter was excellent. Now, there's only one thing that can stop my Blastoise from sweeping, and that is the Rillaboom. Goes out into Jet Life. Ha <laughs> ha! Sunny! I got infamous. Wait, can something hit? I don't think you can do anything to me. I could also go Metagross. Um, I think I'll go Metagross. Because I'd rather keep Togekiss at much more HP. Do, are they going to predict the Togekiss? Go on a Baki. Okay. Ooh, and they are Mold Breaker. But wait, grassy terrain is up. Bro, I can live any hit you're going for. Um They've got too many well I'm just gonna go for the meteor mash, I think. They still go for the earthquake. Imagine they were horse high horsepower. Let me eat that up real quick. Ooh, give me that attack raise so I can kill you on the next one. They get some recovery. Give me some recovery too, bro. Let me take out this Excadrill real quick, just so that my, uh... Just so that my, uh, Togekiss can be... Alright, you're gonna go, uh... You wanna take a Choice Banded plus one... Bro! Take this Meteor Mash, bro, to the face. Look at all that damage. All right, we got to get the heck out of here. Um, can I go Kyle Trask? I think I should go Kyle Trask and get some rocks up, if I'm being real. Question is, are they going to double out into Rillaboom? I'm not really too scared of Rillaboom at this point. Now that the, uh, the whole line, it's still a threat, but. They do go for the roost. I'm gonna get some rocks up real quick. They are probably gonna go boom. Do I need rocks though? Yes. I, it would suck if they're heavy duty boots on it, all these things, but. If it goes on it, it wasn't me. That's just fine. You can't touch Togekiss. Alright, so we get some nice rocks up. I know they're probably going to U-turn out. But still, my safest play is to uh, go on from this. Or should I go Mega Gross? I don't really need it for much else this game. I'd rather preserve the Togekiss at full HP. Let me eat that up real quick. Go for this Zen Headbutt real quick on you. Choice ban and Zen head above. Getting a lot of text over here, what they saying. No, that's nothing else. Yeah, well, alright, who's taking this Zen headbutt? Goes back out into this. Are you heavy duty boots? They are. There's a million damage. Why don't you take another one? Wait. They're gonna roost up. I think it's time to bring this in. 
If you're gonna keep roosting like that, then I gotta go this. They do go for the E-Wave this time. Alright, well you're pretty low, bro, so uh... I think I can afford to go for Dark Pulse at this point. I hope this kills. Nice. So, now we've removed the obstacle to uh, my Metagross, which is excellent. Alright, in comes Jet Life. You acting like I don't have a whole t shiny Togekiss sitting in the back. We can go Infamous. And now, they don't have a whole lot for these uh, Air Slashes, though. I'm not seeing a lot for these Air Slashes. Finally get to show off Infamous again. Ooh, let me eat that yummy Draco Meteor up. Hit you with this air slash, though. I don't think Exit Joe can take two. There are Mold Breaker. Oh, never mind. They definitely can take two. Should have predicted and gone for the flamethrower. Acting like I don't have Kyle Trask right here. Acting like I don't have Kyle Trask right there in the back. I definitely should have gone for Flamethrower, I think, because it was too obvious they were switching. I, I guess I just overestimated how much Air Slash. I thought Air Slash would do a KO. Alright, take some more damage, bud. This is the easiest flip turn of my entire life. As they go Rillaboom, we bring back in the uh, thing. I, I thought they might double, actually. Into Boom. That would have been a fire play. Alright, looks like they're going Boom now, and then we bring back in our Togekiss. All right, so we're getting the heck out of here. Back out in Infamous. All right, go for a nice and powerful air slash on you, sir. Who's taking it? Who are you sacking off to this, Togekiss? I didn't get enough w kills with it in the Redemption arc. I need some more. All right, Togekiss deserves so much more. I remember one time. This was way back in the day before I really knew how to breed competitive Pokemon and train them up. But um, basically, uh, I was fighting a Mega Al my Mega Alakazam versus a... Uh, my good friend's Togekiss, and I kept charge beaming, and I kept getting the special attack raise, but it just wasn't enough, because I think that they paralyzed me, and they were, you know, the paraflinch tactics, but I was breaking through, through paraflinch. All right, good night, sir, good night. Down goes the Rillaboom. Yeah. And from then on, I was just like, dang, this mon is so bulky. I really wonder though, because I made a whole competitive, he, he was like, wait, you made a whole new team that fast? And I was like, yeah, this was before I had like my full, alright, I definitely can't take it out right now. But you're pretty for. Alright. Bring back in Kyle Trask, let's eat up whatever hit they go for him. I could try to flinch him down, but I want to maintain the 6-0.
They go for another Iron Head. Another easy flip turnout. People are underestimating the power of Kyle Trask. This man, the infamous uh, quarterback for University of Florida, so powerful. I'm gonna go and flinch you down too. doesn't kill but can we get the flinch we don't get the flinch but let me eat this up get you with another air slide I can't believe we didn't flinch I, I'm gonna have to because it didn't flinch I mean I think we deserve a flinch from Mexico drill we should get it on drill They might even go for the uh, Earthquake here. I've switched so many times. Come on, bro, flinch. You deserve a flinch. It's still not even really over that. Freaking Volcarona scares me. Yes. We deserve a flinch after not getting one on the uh, the Lottie. Ah, the justice, though. Well, that sucks, because I kind of need this thing. Well, shoot. I got it though. I know what we can do. Shell smash right here and now. I mean, I didn't want to win by hacks. I mean, I, w I was just trying to, you know, do what Togekiss does. But if it's going to be like that, then it's going to be like that. Got to prevent this Volcarona from sweeping me with a Quiver Dance. Because it could do that. It could very easily do that. This is a fail safe. He really needed to bring in his Walker Rune at some point. I was scared of it and Rillaboom. All right, and that's gonna be that. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Everybody on the team got to put in some work. You love to see it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, join the Discord, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.